The following feature has been rated PG by the Motion Picture Association of America. Parental guidance is suggested. Flash, a Cinemax sneak preview is ahead just for you. Two days of super hit movies. Super Association of America. It is intended for mature audiences and parental discretion is advised. Home box office will show this feature only at night. student falls for an older woman and he thinks he's got it made until he finds out who the woman really is Jacqueline Bissett in class next on HBO we interrupt this program this is a national emergency what if the world were on the brink of a nuclear war American warplanes fought a pre-dawn battle over Saudi Arabia with unidentified fighter planes what if the two superpowers were standing eyeball to eyeball untold thousands are trying to escape to areas outside the city and what we've always feared was only a blink away ten nine eight apparently a super tanker has exploded and is now on fire in the Strait of Hormuz. Seven, six, five. Daily briefings from the news media are suspended until further notice. Four, three. The prison has pulled out all the stops since the military is bogging now. Two, one. Scott Glenn, Michael Murphy, Helen Shaver, Patrick Watson. Countdown to Looking Glass. It answers the question that is all too real. Tomorrow, on HBO. I lost a patient. A guy named George Bynum. Stabbed to death. I was a friend of George Bynum. Somewhere between passion and fear. <coughs> reason and revenge. If I thought you knew something about George Bynum's death. Love and terror. Actually, I'm the only one who knows about it. Except for you. Something's happening in the mind of a killer. We're pretty sure Bynum was killed by a woman. And they think he'll try it again. In the still of the night. I know the police think you killed George Bynum. We're probably dealing with a woman who on the surface seems childlike and innocent, but underneath is capable of extreme violence. I'm so glad he's out of my life. Now listen to me. That's what he is trying to do. He's trying to kill me. If it weren't for you, George Bynum would still be alive. Roy Scheider. Meryl Streep. Still of the night. HBO. Your folks were set up on a bad rap, but that doesn't mean they were innocent babes. In 1951, when Daniel was 12 years old, his parents were taken away and charged with conspiracy to commit treason. She drove him. She is the one who did this. Their trial became an American controversy. But you can't put innocent people to death in this country because it can't be done. Their lives became a national scandal. Nobody knows what really happened. What you're trying to do is impossible. What? Clear their names. They believed they had the faith. Your parents were up to something. They had to be. They only arrested my mother to get my father to talk. That's right. Those guys have to bring in a conviction. That was their job. To the judge, the jury, and the people of the United States, they were guilty. But to Daniel, they were his mother and father. I want to know. Timothy Hutton, Daniel, Thursday on HBO. There's no place like HBO in November for movies that will make you cheer, make you proud, steal your heart, and knock you out. The adventure you've been waiting for. Indiana Jones on the trail of the greatest treasure on Earth. Trust me. From Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, Raiders of the Lost Ark. They were the best. You've heard about our project. Count me in. America's Mercury Seven men who had what it took to risk their lives. Ah. Anybody goes up in the damn thing is going to be spam in a can. To cross the threshold of space. An all-star cast in the movie that won four Oscars. The right stuff. And with all the right moves. Tom Cruise. You know, it's going to be recruiters there from every college I want to go to, Lise. A high school hero whose dream is sidelined. We didn't quit. You quit. You get out of here right now. It's really your team. When everything right goes wrong. You lied about me. Blackball. All the right moves. 
It'll take a whole lot more to make his dream come true. Beneath the bright lights of Hollywood lies the dark side of murder. We might actually have to solve this one. Two cops who thought they'd seen it all until now. And I know what killed him. The movies they're making today. From the bestseller by Joseph Wambaugh, James Garner, John Lithgow, and Margot Kidder in an HBO premiere film, The Glitter Dome. And the film classic that won eight Academy Awards. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. Marlon Brando, Eva Marie Saint, and Lee J. Cobb. You don't work no place. Right. You're done. On the waterfront. Meanwhile, in merry old England, a man must be found and hanged. A woman? Not just any woman, but the most dangerous, amorous, treacherous woman in all the realm. Faye Dunaway is the wicked lady. And from Francis Ford Coppola. You always try so hard to be like your brother, Rusty James. My brother's the coolest. A film of stark beauty. You know, if you're going to lead people, you have to have somewhere to go. Matt Dillon, Mickey Rourke, and Diane Lane. Rumblefish. She was every man's fantasy. They're going to give me $10,000 for having my picture taken. A dream girl whose own life became a nightmare. Please come back to me. Mariel Hemingway. Eric Roberts in the true story of Darcy Stratton, Star 80. And in December, watch for Meryl Streep in Silkwood and Mel Brooks and Anne Bancroft in To Be or Not To Be. Because for great movies every month, there's no place like HBO.